Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland, the channel that is all about anything and everything Land Rover. I'm Dan Winchell, your friend Dan. Oh, and guess what we're looking at today? Yeah, this little beauty here. Got some interesting facts and information about that. Matter of fact, I forgot to turn my uh, <laughs> notes over here to uh, what we're looking at here. Uh, just a little gem. Just a cute little Series 1. This is like one of the first ones out of the box, ain't it? Yeah, the original one with the uh, headlights behind the grill. I don't know what they call that. Usually when the headlights are on the grill there, a Series 1, they call that the eggs on the grill. But anyway, let's take a look at what we got. Oh, hey. Holy cow, did I pay that much? What in the world was I thinking? Anyway, let's take a look at it. <laughs> All right. It says uh, 1989. Dinky. And... Uh, DY 9 1949 Land Rover Series 180 inch. Wait a minute, what does this say? Matchbox. Yeah, check that out. You see that up there too? Matchbox. Well, what the heck is going on? Well, after quite a bit of searching and um, looking around, I got two of these, so we're not doing a one on Wednesday. <laughs> but it's really one, but it's really two. But uh, interesting story. So if you don't know, uh, Matchbox did end up buying Dinky out. And uh, let me get this one out of the case here. The little display case that I got it in. Uh, I gotta have this protected because this is actually the way I got it and uh, yeah I did pay eight dollars for that as you see it says matchbox dinky and uh, there for a little while when matchbox bought dinky and uh, this would be um, I believe 1989 is when they took over but uh, yeah there you go. So I did buy this, what's the, um, Iola. I bought this in Iola several years ago, yes. And uh, sitting out on the tables in the dusty hills of Iola Car Show was this little gem. This is the first one that I got and uh, I paid $8 for it. There's a little blurb about that. Yeah, there it is, 1989. Matchbox International Limited. You can take a look at that. Oh, we got uh, what is that? De French? Little De French there. <laughs> and 143rd scale. So this is what it would look like when it came in the box. Well, hopefully your uh, local toy store didn't beat them up this much. But this is a box. Not a bad price. I thought that was a very fair price. I know the condition is, is beat up, but I have it, and it's, a, and it's an example. I mean, I could go back and uh, restore that top, you know, buy new cellophane, clean it up, and such and so forth. But uh, I like to keep things the way I found them. Uh, kind of gives it a little bit of character. This one, I believe, I did end up buying online. This one also has a little dust on it. Can't find my toothbrush here and uh, find it. Uh, but um, this is a very interesting story uh, on these. As I say, they're dinkies, but they're matchbox. So they're, um, they're different. Well, let me show you the, what's different about them. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on to that thought. That's a dinky. That's a matchbox. But you know what? Matchbox did their own version of it. And this is just an example. I, I've got uh, a couple of these that I'm going to show you. But I want to show you this casting here. Uh, it's got just a little trailer to it. Uh, metal on metal. But anyway, this is 
the full fledged matchbox models of yesteryear. All right, and you see it says matchbox there on this toolbox. It is metal on metal, but it is it's different. They they obviously you see that they uh, did a different on the on the on the front end. They changed it a little bit. The license plates is different, so it's the same molding, but it's not the same molding. Uh, so this, by the way, is what they call the DY009. And like I say, this is from the years of yester yesteryears. How do they say that again? Models of yesteryear. And uh, there's several of these, and I'm going to talk about those a little bit later. Um, and there's a whole series. And, you know, I go on to uh, BMACA and check them out. So uh, we're going to have this coming up, or I'm going to link this uh, video when I get this video with that video. But just to make sure that you're not confused, this is the full-fledged matchbox. This is the half-breed child. <laughs> As you notice, it doesn't have uh, the big uh, contraption underneath the, uh, the front bumper that's got, you know, different stuff. There's other one of those models that have a little bit different base to them. So this is kind of a more of a stripped down model and a lot more details, but yet plain Jane. Uh, I mean, I just love the details. Uh, slab side, you know, this is 1949. Uh, you know, the flap is colored on the uh, door. You can just reach in. It didn't have latches on the outside the first two years or whatnot. They didn't have door handles. You would reach through the flap if you bought the extra the extra top to it talking about that let's pop pop this top off i believe it pops off <laughs> we can gently pop it off maybe maybe not maybe i thought it popped off i thought i saw pictures where it was popped off am i am i nuts or what maybe not huh i thought it popped off well i don't want to break it so i'm not going to pop it off but anyway it's pretty neat neatly detailed it's got a spare tire in there i like how they you know it's the the uh, land rover bronze green i just love that color um the uh stainless hinges on the exterior the trim around the bed but the uh detail to the canvas top and that strap also the window is uh you know plainly see that it has two part windows with a slide glass but uh simple hinges on the hood there very nice i love that they uh included the rivets you know this is still uh dinky and their uh, expertise as far as you know details and stuff like that so i'm you know i might have paid 25 dollars for that bugger i'm not sure but anyway this came out in two different liveries the other livery is yellow it has a maybe a little bit different colored top to it but the yellow one which is the um double a road service on the on the uh windshield below the windshield uh they ha it says road service and then it has the double a road service badge on the door and then on the front fender here is black flat black just on the front fender on the side uh, but that's the only variation I do not have that variation but it is the first or the dinky matchbox <laughs> bastard child or whatnot <laughs> cheese balls anyway there you go that's what it is um, just a nice cute little truck I had this sitting in my glass case and like I said, I was doing research trying to figure out uh, exactly what this was and where it came from and stuff like that. Um, don't flip it over because, you know, oh my, oh my, don't. <laughs> hey, Tyler, look at that. They even got Land Rover on the mud flaps even. 
Is that some sharp details? Wow, that is some sharp details. But anyway, yeah, I was um, having problems finding it um, because I guess this is the thing. I went to uh, BAMCA, and we're going to flash their card again. I went to BMACA, and I was looking at the... They have a section there that you can just look up the models of yesteryear because I thought this was a matchbox and it is a matchbox. So I went to them to look up matchboxes and I could not find it. I'm like, well, what the heck? Why can't I find this? Uh, so then I went to Google and I was searching around. And then I went to uh, Google Images and, you know, looked at it. And then this popped up, a picture, well, not this one, but uh, a picture of that truck in the box. And I'm like, oh, it's, BAMCA -B is not going to list this as a matchbox because it's a dinky, not really a matchbox. They did have a little picture of it, but they had no um, information on it. So they deal more with, the matchbox not bastard children <laughs> so anyway there you go do you got this one do you have the double a road service one yeah i would like to get a hold of one of those so i can have a pair of them uh one in each livery that's all there is there aren't any other uh variations of the matchbox dinkies just the two um the next uh, video that I do coming up will of this series will be of these, and there's quite a few of those, quite a quite a neat story on those. But yeah, I would like to know: Do you have any of these? Um, what what? Where did you get yours from? <laughs> you know what what stories do you have? All right, I gotta wrap it up. Hey, you guys, you gotta remember: you gotta like and subscribe. So just go ahead. Hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. I love it. Drop a comment. I love to read your comments. Uh, if you've ever commented before, you know that I'm pretty prompt at uh, answering uh, the comments and stuff like that. Also down in the description, you can uh, link up with Facebook, Roverland, and on Instagram, Roverland Channel. So yeah, go ahead, subscribe. We got more subscribers uh, tagging along for the ride. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe and share. Tell your friends. This is great. All right, let's get trucking out of here. All right, remember, my friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.